Hi, everyone. My name is Craig Tashman, founder and CEO of Liquitext. I want to give you a short demonstration of the newest major feature we've added to the product, multiple workspaces in the same project. So we're in our famous Honeybee project here. And now instead of just one single endless workspace, we can have as many as we want. To do this, we'll start by tapping this button here. This gives us our workspace list. And you can see we already have two, overview workspace and another one that's not too populated yet about honeybee disorders. We can also tap this little arrow and we can see the persistent version of this list. But we'll stick with the pop-up one for the moment. Now, the first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to add a new page to this, one for conclusions. So I just tap add workspace and you see it created a new page. I'll first rename this page, conclusions. And I'm also gonna move this page down to the bottom. Now you notice I can drag pages to reorganize them here. I can also drag them to be children of another page. So see now I've made conclusions, a child of honeybee disorders. But I don't think I want that. I think I'll make it a top level page on its own. Now I'm also gonna change the color and the background design. So you see, I have a bunch of different colors here I can choose from, and I can also pick any color, pick a custom color. I'll make this one green for the moment and I'm gonna to switch to a graph background. Ah, much nicer. Okay, now we'll go back to our workspace overview. Now you'll notice over on the right here, I have a bunch of experimental data that I've gathered. Well, I'd like to move this data to one of my other workspaces, but you know, as I look at it, I don't really have a workspace that's appropriate for it. So I wanna create a new one. In this case, since I wanna create a workspace and move this material to it, I can just tap to child workspace. And I'm gonna create a new workspace that we'll call, let's say, experimental data. And notice what the app does. It replaced all of those excerpts with a link to the experimental data workspace. So if we go over here, you can see a new child workspace called experimental data has been created. Let's go visit it. And see, here are all those excerpts from before. All right, now let's go back to our overview workspace. And you notice again, this guy here is a link. So if I tap this, of course, it takes me right back to that experimental data workspace. So the app makes it very easy to create new child workspaces based on some subset of the excerpts and as well as ink that you already have in a given workspace. Okay, but now that I think about it, this excerpt here is also a piece of experimental data. I would also like to send this excerpt to that new experimental data workspace I created. Well, there's a couple ways I can do that. First, I can just cut it, go over to experimental data and paste it. The other way I can do it is I can use drag and drop. So for that, let me show you. We'll bring up the overview workspace in parallel with our experimental data workspace. And now I can just drag and drop excerpts from one to the other. I can resize it, of course, and I can hide one when I don't need it. And needless to say, all of these links still work just like they should. Now, although I separated out this excerpt from the material on the overview workspace, as I think about it, there's actually kind of a connection there. So I'd like to show the relationship between this excerpt and some of the other observations I had on the overview workspace. So I'm gonna open again both of these workspaces up in parallel here. And to express that relationship, maybe the easiest way is an ink link. So I can just draw a live ink link from this excerpt over to the desired point in my overview workspace. So now if we close experimental data, I can tap this link and it brings up the other workspace in parallel so that I can see that item that it points to. So now you can create arbitrary links crisscrossing between the content on your different workspaces. The other way to do this, of course, is to use a text-based link. So for example, I could select this excerpt, go to copy link, paste the link. And now wherever I am, I can tap this link and it brings me right back to that excerpt. Now, as I showed you, you can bring up multiple workspaces at the same time and display them together. So for example, maybe I wanna view the overview along with experimental data. And of course we can do that easily. And maybe I wanna bring up honeybee disorders as well. Well, you saw I can do this through the context menu, but I can also drag them just like this 
to display all three at the same time. Now you say, if I'm showing all three at once, they're all a little bit small, but I can just double tap any of these tabs to make it larger. So I can focus on the one that's important, but without hiding the others. Now let's go over to Honeybee Disorders and open up the Common Honeybee Disorders document. I'd like to take some of these common honeybee disorders and organize them, but there's sort of two different classes of honeybee disorders. There are very serious ones and less serious ones. I'd like to be able to just pull out excerpts and drop them directly into buckets, depending on their seriousness. So I can tap and hold and select Add Child Workspace. And we'll call this one, let's say, Serious Disorders. And we'll create another one not so serious disorders. Now, both of these links point to new workspaces that you notice were just created. See, we have serious disorders here, not so serious disorders here. Now we'll just set serious to red here and we'll set not so serious to blue. Now what's interesting is we of course can tap these links to go back and forth between these workspaces, but these links also act as portals from one workspace to another. So for example, let's say Varroa disease is a fairly serious disorder. I'm gonna pull this out and drag it over serious disorders. And you see, it says send to serious disorders. If I release it, it drops it into that. Likewise, if we say Acheron disease is not so serious, we can pull this out and send to not so serious disorders. And so now if I tap serious disorders, you see it takes me there and of course we have varroa disease. And likewise, if we go back and I tap not so serious disorders, we see acarin disease. So this means that now I can actually use links to my different workspaces, not simply as ways to get to a workspace, but as ways to send material to a workspace. So you might wonder, how do you find content quickly spread over so many workspaces? Well, this is also easy. You can just go to find, type in, let's say, Honeybee and make sure the scope is set to workspaces and all, press return. And Liquitext brings up, of course, the list of all your workspaces and indicates the ones that have search results. And you see there's even these little red dots just next to the icons of those workspaces showing you about how many results there are and how they're distributed throughout that workspace. So now you can see them and navigate to them quickly and easily. Now with these different workspaces, you might want a way to categorize them besides just the parent-child hierarchy. For that, you can use tags. So let's say the experimental data workspace needs to be reviewed. We can just open the context menu here and you'll see under add tags, we have the more option. We'll create a new tag, needs review. And you'll notice it's been added under the title of experimental data. At the same time, let's say honeybee disorders does not need to be reviewed. So we'll tap there, we'll create a new tag, no review. And you see that tag has been added as well. Now let's say conclusions needs to be reviewed as well. I can just tap the context menu button and you see the tags we've used recently are right there for us. I'll just tap on needs review and it gets added instantly. Now later on, if I wanna find all of the things that need review, I can go to filter and just type needs review. And you see it filters to only the items with that tag. All right, so that's it for now. If you have questions about these features or wanna understand them in more detail, you can just tap the help button, go down to our new multi-workspace tab and have videos demonstrating each of these features in detail. Again, this is our new multiple workspaces feature of Liquitext. Thank you so much for watching.